and welcome to Life to Moon Court, the show where we break down your favorite made-for-TV movies one bottle at a time. I am your host, Patrick Serrano, and today we are talking about brutal bridesmaids. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Brutal bridesmaids stars Zoila Garcia, Amanda Tavares, Carly Elkridge, Jamie Fritz. Amanda Diaz, and my favorite name, Lauren Bulgogi. On the show, we either pour it up, which means yes, or put a cork in it, which means no thank you. So what are we going to do to brutal bridesmaids? <laughs> brutal bridesmaids? What a tongue twister. <laughs> Putting a cork in it. Sorry. Now, if you haven't seen the movie and you would like to avoid spoilers, you're going to want to hit pause because I'm going to do a quick little recap. Starting now. The movie starts off on the beach, but it isn't the beach wedding you'd expect. A woman named Jessica is tied to a chair. Flash to one month earlier, Michael is proposing to his girlfriend Jessica, who looks a lot like Camila Cabello. Jessica knocks her engagement ring into a pond and they laugh it off. They only have three months to plan the wedding, which makes the timeline of this movie quite confusing. This movie is already a mess. Next, we meet the bridesmaids. There's Jessica's BFF, Mel, Chris and her co-worker, who introduced Jess and Michael, college friend slash mom, Holly, Binky, a childhood friend turned reality star, and Jessica's cousin, Sloan. Sloan is a downer. The women are not friends, but come together for Jessica as bridesmaids. They try on dresses in a 20-minute trying-on dresses montage. It is painful to watch. I will give the movie some credit for recreating the feeling I have when I go shopping with my girlfriends. It might surprise you to learn that I am a gay man and I hate shopping. All the women break out into a rash from the dresses. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What's going on? Oh my god! It's totally back. Help is coming. Hold it. Oh, it's just. Holly throws a wedding shower that is inexplicably decorated like. It's Cinco de Mayo at TGI Fridays. We watch the gifts being open in real time, and then Sloane randomly accuses Mel of sleeping with Jessica's fiancé. The party is ruined, but before everyone can go, Holly pitches her pyramid scheme protein bars. The next day, Kristen comes down with a stomach bug and blames Holly's protein bars. Michael is then attacked in a parking lot, and Binky is almost attacked at the bachelorette party. Speaking of the bachelorette party, let's take a moment to appreciate the dad bod stripper. Ooh, yes, dad bod stripper, you work it. The police are called, and Jessica begins to think that all the strange things happening might be connected. Mel suggests that it could be one of the bridesmaids, hence the title of the movie. Coincidentally, Sloane skips out on the wedding rehearsal because she's sick. But during a long, drawn-out rehearsal sequence, we see that Sloane isn't sick. She's just hiding in the bushes. It is the night before the wedding. Jessica looks at her wedding dress and is kidnapped. We see her on the beach and learn that it's Kristen. Kristen was jealous of Jessica and Michael and wanted him all to herself. Her plan is to kill Jessica and then replace her. Sloane comes to her cousin's rescue and saves the day. The movie ends with Binky engaged to the dad bod stripper. Just kidding, that would be too awesome for this movie. And that is Brutal Bridesmaids. So Brutal Bridesmaids, wow. Um, this was such a head scratcher of a movie. I was very excited for the Bridesmaids to just be going at it and like maybe like a 27 dresses type of situation where the Brides of Bridezilla, you got the beautiful people, get married. God, I love 27 Dresses. <laughs> I need to rewatch that movie. This was not that. First of all, the closed captioning totally gives away the ending. <laughs> so we know Kristen did it. She's right there, Kristen laughing. Yeah, that's not a good way to start the movie. My review should have just been Kristen did it. 
you're done. You don't need to watch this movie. So the dresses and the fashion, everything in it was, it was like a wedding. Like, this is what we want. We want to see bridal wear. We want to see bridesmaids dresses. We want to get um, inspired for the upcoming wedding season that we're going to have when COVID's over and we all can like go outside and get married at a barn. But these dresses were, whoa, they were terrible. I don't want to blame the director and the writer, but I also kind of do because they're both guys. So my question would be, why do we have two men writing a movie about the bridesmaid experience? Like probably call a lady friend and get her in the room. Just somebody on set who can be like, hi, I'm a female and I hate this. One redeeming quality is the dad bod stripper. Loved that. Empowering the dad bod. Definitely don't need to have chiseled body to be hot. Dad bod stripper was kind of cute. He looked like he was having fun. That's really what you want from a stripper, right? You want them to have fun. You want them to be charming and nice. And now it is time for the minority report, the segment where we talk about representation in TV movies and why it matters. So there's really good representation here. Soyla Garcia as Jessica, Amanda Tavares as Melanie, Amanda Diaz as Sloan, Kevin A. Watson or Kevin Walker as Michael, and Francisca Gonzalez as a waitress. Bless you. I'm keeping that in here. Oh, and I think that wraps it up for this episode. If you want more Lifetime in Court, you can follow us at our website, lifetimeuncourt.com. Don't forget to follow me at Patrick Miguel or the show at Lifetime in Court. We also have a podcast, which is on hiatus right now, but it is also called Lifetime in Court. Go listen to the back catalog, everyone. Don't forget to leave a comment and like this video. And thank you guys so much for the nice comments. Um, I really appreciate it. And tell your friends. It's word of mouth. is like how these things spread, right? So that'd be awesome. Tell your Lifetime friends. Do people admit to watching Lifetime? I mean, I do. And don't forget to donate to our Kofi page. Uh, okay, we'll see you next week. Bye.